Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today is an extremely exciting day because Canva released Affinity, which is the replacement to Affinity Photo. But the best part is it is completely free. So you get all of the tools that used to be behind a paywall for Affinity Photo completely for free. Now, On One is a great companion to send to work with your raw images and then to send to Affinity Photo. So in this video, what I want to do is show you how you can work on an image inside of On One and then move it over into Affinity Photo in the most seamless workflow possible. Let's go. So here we are inside of On One Photo Raw, and I'm just inside of my browse module because this is likely where you will pick up with your editing or with your workflow. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up this image. And what I'm showing you is going to work best for a single image workflow. There is a batch method, but I'll showcase that in a later video. So what I'm going to do here for simplicity's sake is I'm just going to apply a preset and I'm going to come over to cinema and I think I'm going to apply cinema number three. I like the way that this looks. And it's actually a little strong, so let's just pull that fade down just a bit there. And I think that that looks about right. So before and after, I'm good with this. And this would just represent you making all of your adjustments with either Bruins AI or coming over to the local adjustments tab. I'm not going to get into all of that for this video because I just want to showcase the workflow. But just note that this would be the point that you are done with your edit inside of on one and you're ready to go into affinity photo for a more complex or robust editing experience. So what I'll do is hit the blue check mark and that's going to bring me back to my browse module. Now from here, you have really two methods of getting the image out of on one and into affinity. The first method is by just exporting the image. So you can click the export module and you can use the export dialog box, drop that off, uh, or I'm sorry, export a JPEG or a TIFF or whatever. And then down here with the open in aspect, you can check that and then you can hit the drop down and then you can come and choose affinity or you can navigate to it. That's not my preferred method. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel and hit no, because I don't want to save those settings that we just adjusted. Instead, I think the most efficient or most streamlined method is to right click on the image that you want to send into Affinity Photo and then come all the way down here to the bottom where it says send to other application. Another way that you can get to that is come to file and then come all the way down to send to other application. Both of these options work the exact same way. Now you're going to get a dialog box and all this is saying is, well, what software do you want to open this photo in? And you could choose any software, so it's not limited to just Affinity, but because Affinity is completely for free now, and a link for that can be found in the description box below, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select Affinity. You would navigate to the software that you want to send it to. Hopefully it's Affinity. I'm going to click that and hit open. Now, after you've answered the question to on one of what software you want to open in. Now you have to tell on one, well, do you want to send a copy of your image with the edits that you made in on one, or do you want to send a copy of the original image? Now for me, I want to send a copy of the file that we edited using the uh, preset inside of on one. So I'm going to leave the first option checked. Now, no, that if you want to get a little bit more detailed or advanced with your export option here, you can hit this little drop down arrow and you can change some of the parameters or the settings. Now for me, I personally like to send a TIFF file in Adobe RGB 1998 at 16 bits. And then once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this. Once that's done, you can hit edit. 
Now, if you don't want to see this dialog box again, you can just check this little circle that says, don't ask me again, and it won't ask you these settings. It'll just remember that that's what you want, and it'll always do that whenever you hit export. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. Now, what ON1 is going to do is render this file to that 16-bit TIFF file, and then it's going to open it inside of Affinity, which now I have access to tools to edit this image even further than possibly what I was able to do inside of ON1. Now, the reason why this is so awesome is because Affinity, for those who know, Affinity is a very, very powerful layer-based editor, as well as a bunch of other tools that are available to us. Now, I'm not going to dive into those in this particular video because that's not the purpose or the intent, but I wanted to show you how you can get your images into Affinity. So if you're familiar with working in there, then you, you're good to go. You can start executing. But if you want to learn more about Affinity, just comment Affinity down below. Let me know that that's something you're interested in. And I will make more content showing how you can use On1 and Affinity Photo to really enhance your images. Maybe that'll just be its own series from On1 to Affinity. And yeah, that sounds pretty cool. You let me know what you think about that. With all that being said, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name is Chris. I make content centered around On One Photo Raw to help you get your creative vision out and into the world a little bit faster without having to be bogged down with understanding software. If that's something you're interested in, then consider subscribing. Now, if you're interested in picking up On One Photo Raw, consider using the coupon code FREEWILL10. It'll save you some money on top of the discounted price over at the On One website. Now, that is an affiliate coupon code, which means I make a small commission from everyone who uses it. It's at no extra cost to you, and it's a great way of supporting this channel. That coupon code is going to be valid all the way until the end of November. If you got questions about On One Photo Raw, leave it in the comment section below. But if you really want to learn how to use the software, consider signing up for a training call with me. A link for that can be found in the description box below. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.